another lost lake. Just waiting to be discovered. Discovered, yes, but most importantly, fished. Two men and their fishing rods. Welcome to Two Men and Their Fishing Rods. I'm Nathan Thomas. And I'm Tyler Kyle. What we do is we take you all over Vancouver Island, fishing all sorts of different lakes. Some you've heard of, most you probably haven't. Today, we're going to Kidney Lake. Follow us and we'll show you exactly how to get there. All right. So we're headed to a spot that me and Nathan frequent quite often during the show. Yeah, it's the gate right off Northwest Bay Road. And if I was to explain the significance of this gate, to use a metaphor, I would say it's the drawbridge to a vast castle of lakes. Well, <laughs> but the only problem with the drawbridge is they always come with the trolls. That's right. <laughs> uh, the troll being the gate guy, the guy who mans the gate. Uh, he's actually not a troll. He's quite a nice fellow. Yeah, he's all right. He, uh, what he asks for is the time you go in the gate, the time you leave, what you're driving, where you're going. Yeah, yeah. Just in case you get stuck out there, lost out there, safety they purposes. Come fine. Yeah. yeah. So just pull off the highway. Yep. Uh, to Northwest Bay Logging Road. Logging Road. We're in front of the sign. Let's explain a few here, there's. Yeah, the rules of uh, the area here. Rules of the backwoods, yeah. if you will. Yeah. Rule number one. All motor motorized vehicles must be insured. And licensed. Which you wouldn't have got here if they weren't. No. So, so pretty obvious. There you are. Rule number two. No. no. Overnight oh. camping. Camping. You can't do it. Yeah. And what's the point in overnight camping if you can't have a fire? Rule yeah. number three. You no can't fire. do either though, so. <laughs> so don't even worry about it. One voids the other. Gate opens at six, closes at four, opens weekends only. PM to AM. Or um, I mean sorry, AM to PM. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and of course active logging during the week. Keep your eye out. Yeah. So pretty straightforward stuff. Be safe. Mind your manners. And mind your trail garbage. Yeah. <laughs> So just like the gate and the gate guy, yeah. this fork is just as frequented by these two fellows. Yeah, it's uh, the very first thing from the gate. There's lots of lakes left, and there's lots of lakes right. <laughs> um, the gate guy, actually, I should mention, has a wealth of information on these little maps. Yeah. He hands out. Get a map. Lots of good stuff on there. All the lakes, all the back roads. Back roads that aren't on your normal maps yeah. are certainly on this one. Yeah. Take advantage. Definitely take advantage. Kidney Lakes to the left today, that's where we're headed. Please, won't you follow us? See you in the next turn. Okay, so that was about 9K down the road. There's a few kind of you know, awkwardy little gravel roads off to the left. It's the one about 9K down the road. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's where that map comes in handy that the gate guy gives you. In fact, you know, looks a little something like that. <laughs> Thank you. So, you know, it's a little woodsy and whatnot, but I mean, we're in the woods. creek then you do a little hill climb there you come to a nice gravel road you turn right and then um, you keep going on that road <laughs> so we popped up over that bank onto the main road traveled that down that road for about 2k there's a little bit of a what way do we go yeah, a little bit of one but uh, you keep straight Just stick left Stick like after straight and yeah. whatever. Don't go right. <laughs> <laughs> Drive another two to three K and you reach what we like to call the goal posts here. Yeah. You got two trees. There. Get that stick out. They're yeah. the only ones of the kind in the area. It be here. Well, yeah, I guess not. It's weird. <laughs> so you want to go in between the goal posts. Straight ahead. Good score. The very next thing we're gonna see is the lake. Ciao! Whew! Lakes make that noise. 
And there, the sun like literally just came out. It was foggy as all heck, and uh, that rolled away. We got some dew on the top of the leaves, mm. some sun in her eyes, oh. some fish in the lake. Uh, fish in the lake and soon in the boat. What more do you want? Go. Let's go. Straight and narrow. Straight and narrow. to get a good shove. That's why I put Nathan in charge. He's a better shover than a pusher. So. But if anybody can do it, oh. it's you. Expert shover here. Hey, what can we say here, my man? Um, well, we could say Kidney Lake is kind of split up into three different lakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got, it's kind of shaped like, a, like an earwig. <laughs> you know, you or got, an ant. Or an ant. One of those creatures. You got a head, an abdomen, and a thorax. Now we typically enjoy fishing the thorax. That's where we're gonna go. You launch in the head, you battle through these weeds here ahead of us, you'll see very shortly. Leading us to the thorax? We launch in the abdomen. Did we launch in the oh we launched in the abdomen? My mistake. We are proudly supported by River Creek Rods. It's the passion. No one does carbon fiber like RCR. Oki Tackle, manufacturers of quality fishing tackle since 1972. Found at finer tackle stores around the world. Pacific Net and Twine, TKO Trolling Spoons, 10 hot colors, 3 popular sizes, North Pacific brand quality tackle. Wise Buys Fishing Supplies, West Coast Pacific Tough, introducing the new Coast DR1 Moochum Reel, Team K4U Evolution, sharing tidbits of knowledge, fishing and outdoor related. Catch us at k4u.ca. Nathan just noticed, he, I'm ready to fish, ready to go in the water here. Um, his line has about three, or his reel has about three feet of line worth on it. <laughs> Not gonna Give cut it. Give me more than that. So while he does that, I want to run through what we generally bring. We're pretty low budget. We're pretty uh, skim the surface of professional here. <laughs> so professional is not in our vocabulary. <laughs> we we bring the bare bones. Um, you get yourself a little tackle box. Load it with your basics. You know, yeah, not much. What, <laughs> what we do is we go through. We find a lure that appeals to us. A lure or two. Generally doesn't appeal to the fish. <laughs> but uh, you know, pick your faves. If we're happy then. <laughs> We get some weights, some swivels, some what you know. Yeah. Um, other than that, we have just a bare bones electric motor. Run now. This is another. Uh, we realize it, and we realize we shouldn't realize it. <laughs> but me and Nathan, we 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 border the edge of uh, convenience and stupidity sometimes. Yes, we do. It's a fine line. A fine line. Um, the reason I say this is the battery we use to power this electric motor is actually the very same battery. That's out of our truck. Which is very convenient. Very convenient. Saves, saves on, on pack and supplies. That's right. Don't and lug around a battery. Yeah, and rolling around with the big battery in the truck is never fun. Yeah. What do I on the edge of stupidity? Because <laughs> if you're having a great day fishing, you tend to be out here a while, <laughs> just drain your battery, and thus and making the car hard to really hard to get home. <laughs> but we parked on a hill. Yeah, that's, so, that's key. There you go. <laughs> How do we get rolling here? Can I think, can I figure I'm missing out on some opportunities. Yeah. I was a smart one and came prepared. I, on the Rare other hand, just don't get the habit of coming prepared. <laughs> I did not come prepared, so. so I'm just hustling up, tying some line onto my reel. We're gonna have some eight pound test. Yeah, shocking. I, it's, it will be shocking if we pull anything that sizable out of this lake. <laughs> That's plenty. But, you know. You never know, right? <laughs> now, this lake. Actually, Nathan's more educated on uh, the the doings and the what have yous on Kidney Lake, as far as, <laughs> as, far as sizes the fish contain. So, if you can multitask there, my man. I don't mind multitasking. Uh, the lake's about six hectares in size. Um, the stock is rainbows and cutthroats. Stock? 
pretty sure it's still Excellent. Up. That's great news. Yeah. Fantastic news. Nothing oh. sizable. Yeah, got fish on here. Got fish on. So that's that's why you want to be in the lake. You always want to have something going on. So, oh, and of course my. Of course, oh, oh. You got a lot of things going on here, and uh, NATO's just <laughs> NATO's dropping. Them all. <laughs> and a net. We always, I like to mention to bring yes, the net we'll many a time. The, many a time has that not been here. But look at this. I think we got a size. Oh, this is, looks like a beauty. This is a specimen, my friends. This is a specimen. <laughs> All right, all right. Look at this guy. <laughs> this is a beauty. Two minutes in. Two minutes in. Holy. I can wet my hands. Holy. Oh, this is this is a legendary Kidney <laughs> Lake. This is the one we caught him already. Rainbow. Oh no, this is a cut. No, what do we got here? We got a cutthroat. Actually, that's quite an impressive fish. Here at a kidney. Cutthroat trout. Now, the re I'm going to go into a little bit of an explanation here, if nobody minds. Quickly, because I want to get him back in the water. But it's, the reason it's, it's sometimes tough to tell the difference between a rainbow and a cutthroat. The how-to is right here. This re these red markings on either side, underneath the gills. Looks like his throat's been cut. I'm gonna measure the uh, friendly fella here. No, that's like 13. All right. This is before he gets too upset with me. Release. Done, buddy. It's not gonna be a fish this episode. <laughs> Nicely done. So good. <laughs> I really want to get my line rigged up here. I'm gonna take this opportunity just to kind of show everybody what I'm using. Now this is me and Nathan's go-to. This is not a this plug. Is a, this is not a commercial. This is nothing. This is just a favorite of ours. The Apex. Today I'm using silver. I use all sorts of shapes. I generally stick to this. Uh, sorry, colors. I generally stick to this size. The size of fish we catch. So back in it goes. And classic Nathan messing around, messing around, and I got my second fish on. So <laughs> well, it's not as sizable as my last one. Bring us Oh wow! That's a <laughs> sometimes you catch big ones, and sometimes you don't. You know. So you just caught. A minnow over here. Yeah, a little rainbow here. You know, I could measure it or I could just tell you it's like six inches. So, there's not much more I could say about this other, other than I like to release them. I like to do it with flair. <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to really try hard to get something going here. <laughs> you get a lure in the water because the bite's on. <laughs> Here. Mad friction burn. Like, this is standard operating procedure for these two boys. <laughs> At home is like the proper spot to do that? <laughs> In an open area, a garage, maybe a pencil or something through this hole so it doesn't eat away at your skin. But, you know, this is not our style. <laughs> Never there, man. This is my threshold for pain. Is yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll cut it off. <laughs> I'll use the rest of it. We'll yeah. Keep going. This is like the most line Nathan's ever had on his By a long <laughs> shot. Oh, and we are there. One thing you may not know about Tyler and I, oh. and you will, you will see it over um, the episodes. We are just best friends. Oh. Like to oh, yeah. the core. Oh, yeah. And um, I'm getting nibbles here like crazy. Uh, I'm probably getting weeds. I don't think so. Oh, I'm getting nibbles like crazy too, so. <laughs> Whatever. And um, that's what really uh, makes makes this happen. You know, it's just the back and forths. And that's that's what I think is the key to this backwoods. Not even backwoods so much, but just fishing with a friend of yours. Yeah. You go out and you fish with a buddy, you just, it's time to open up, yeah. share, hey, have you ever noticed what's with this? Yeah, like, what's going on with her? <laughs> and then it's almost, I mean, I hate to say this on a fishing show, but the fish almost becomes secondary to the journey. The journey. You know, it's all what's, about the journey. There's something here, there's something here. Fish come and go. 
but the memories of the lakes remain. Last forever. You know. There couldn't be a more true saying than that. No. So grab a friend, grab a rod, and go for a fish. Go for a fish. And another thing that I've often wondered. <laughs> <laughs> what have you often It's like, how do girls know what urinals are? That's a good question. <laughs> That's you know? a good question. Just one of those things, like the whispers in the hallways. Yeah. It's just, I mean, they're not allowed in there. <laughs> no, it's against the law. <laughs> so it's an unwritten rule, but that's like written down somewhere true. Right? No, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, that's, I I, I, that's a question I don't have an answer to. Female janitors, maybe. Google. I Google. bet it's Google. Google. I mean, before Google, not a single female knew what your name was. <laughs> Once Google opened up, the secret was out. <laughs> we had that well protected. <laughs> Thanks, Google. <laughs> <laughs> so. I mean, these are the kind of questions they get raised when you're out in the wilderness. Yeah, and fresh, these right? are the important questions. Clear your so, mind. Yeah, <laughs> you really hammer down. <laughs> you come home feeling a little bit smarter. <laughs>
Beautiful. Hi, Cuddy. Beautiful. Beautiful cut through. Look at that. That is textbook fish. They've written textbooks on this fish. They've written textbooks on fish. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> All right, well, he wants to go. I'm not going to worry about measuring him because it's not as big as Tyler's. There he goes. Happy as can be. Awesome. Yay! Yay! Nathan did it! <laughs> Trolling away here, obviously. Trolling away. Today, today, today. And I see something over yonder. And it reminds me of a little thing that me and Nathan like to do. Yeah. And absolutely. would like to spread the virus. Yeah. And let everybody else in on Something we definitely promote. Um, especially doing these backwoods lakes. Mm -hmm. You will find. Uh, unfortunately. Unfortunately. What we like to call trail garbage. Yeah. Trail garbage. <laughs> I think if everybody picks up a little bit. Of if you come across it. Pick it up. Pick it up. So what I'm going to do sense. is I see a water bottle. Yes, there is a water bottle. Yeah. Oh, nice subpoenas. We have a net. I think Nina's going to get into that. Yeah, I'm going to net it here. And... Well, we've um, caught some fish here. Um, we've done most of them. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we're going to head her back to the truck. Uh, yeah, load up from there. Okay. We'll see you on that shore. Well, that, my friends, was Kidney Lake. It was. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. And what a beautiful lake. Gorgeous day. Big fish. Big fish. Small fish. Red fish. Blue fish. Blue fish. <laughs> um, no green eggs and ham. No, believe but, it or not. Uh, anyway, great day. Outstanding time here on Kidney Lake. Fish with my best friend. It's great. You can't beat it. I am Tyler Kyle. I am Nathan Thomas. Together, we are two men in the fishing rod. We are. And we will see you next time. Can't get enough of two men and their fishing rods? Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit our website. Two Men and Their Fishing Rods is supported by River Creek Rods, Oki Tackle, Pacific Nut and Twine, Wise Buys Fishing Supplies, and K4U.ca.